Yeah, I absolutely love that hairstyle on you. And my, I did too. My mom liked it too. My mom was like, no. I'm happy that you got that extra pack too. Because I didn't know how thick your hair was. Mm -hmm. So we would have ran out of hair if I would have um, not had that extra pack. Well, um, Tim, I did my makeup. She was like, look at that hair. She said, like, your hair looks perfect with it. Yes. Okay, so in this hairstyle, do you want me to do black at the bottom or do you want red at the bottom? Because I'm going to highlight the red throughout the, mid throughout the middle. How but what do you want at the back? I already do it. Okay. I'm going to print my pictures out there. I'll print some of them out. Yeah, that shirt you came out really, really pretty. You had told me you just get the shirt. Um, yeah, done. the girl made it from Jersey. That came out really, really pretty. Uh, my boyfriend, George Frank, she made it from Jersey. So what was the um the big surprise that he had for you? He didn't do it. Okay. He said he was going to um, propose on my birthday. Okay. But I think he got something up his sleeve for tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Cause he was like, you're not getting your nails, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to get them done. Then I was like, no, I'm gonna just wait to get them done. He was like, no, you gotta get the nails done. <laughs> like, yeah, you think you slick? He slick. Mm -hmm. And then my mom made a statement last night, cause um, I go with him on Saturdays to be the church, and then um, my mom made a statement last night. She was like. Uh, you going to Jersey tomorrow when you get home? I said, yeah. She was like, well, sooner or later, you won't have to pack no overnight bag. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, y'all think y'all sleep. All right. So if he did propose to you, would you want to have a long engagement or do you want to have a short engagement? I don't know, I think I'm going to have a short one. Okay. Because we've been talking about getting married next year. Okay. And would you like to have a... <coughs> what's it called? Special destination wedding? Or do you want a church wedding? A church wedding. Okay. But it's going to be not big, but small, okay. something small. Small, intimate setup? Yeah. And okay. a big reception. Because right. the pastor was right, because of the enemy is attacking great, she told us don't wait so long to just do it, but I don't want to rush. I mean, I, I, I listened to her prophecy, and she was like, normally she don't, you know, push people to get mad or whatever, but she said once that we do say the I do part, that's where the, you know, the enemy, uh, he won't stop. But he'll back away, and she said that that's where the um, the powerful would be so great. She was like the connection would be so great. But um, she was like, we could do something small and have a big reception, or go to the justice of peace and have a big reception. But I don't want to go to the justice of peace because my first wedding was a justice of peace. Okay. So. Well, I have to agree when it comes to marriage. Um, there's so many people who are getting divorced. So the enemy absolutely does mess with people who are um, engaged. Because whatever he can try to do to make you change your mind and not actually go through with the ceremony, mm -hmm. he does it. Um, the Bible speaks about marriage is a covenant between you, Christ, and your significant other. So, the favor of the Lord is you guys being obedient and actually taking that next step and having that covenant and commitment not only to each other but to the Lord. So, I absolutely would say, you know, celebrate, have an engagement party. After you get engaged, have the 
rehearsal for your wedding. Go ahead and get married. Enjoy life. Because if you're burning with passion, it's better to marry than to burn. Mm -hmm. It's better to, you know, allow the bed of the marriage to be undefiled than have to confess because you ain't gonna repent because you're gonna do it again. Mm -hmm. But you keep confessing, oh Lord, I didn't mean to do it. I should have just got married. Compared to <laughs> every bed is undefiled, baby. Have some fun. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Have some fun. Be fruitful as you wait to multiply. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I've been married now for nine and a half years. It'll be ten very, very soon. And people were saying to me when we were um, talking, oh, y'all not the last six months. Within six months of dating, we got engaged. Mm -hmm. Within 11 months, we were married. So we got it quick, fast, and in a hurry. And I, I was not pregnant. I've never been pregnant. My tubes is tied. Because I was like, oh, she got pregnant. That's why they got married. No, the devil's a liar. My tube is tied. They were tied when I got with him. So he didn't marry me because I got pregnant. Mm -hmm. There was no possibility for me to get pregnant. We got married because we loved each other. Right. And in spite of all my <coughs> shortcomings and in spite of all my flaws, the Lord allowed him to love me because I always say I am like a dented can at the grocery store. Yeah. I'm rough around the edges. Yeah. I got some dirt. I got some bruises. I got some dent. Mm -hmm. But if you come on and take the time to open up that can, there's some nutrients in that thing. Mm -hmm. There's some love in that thing. There's some benefits to it. Too often people look at the exterior and don't take the time to get to know the interior the softness and the purity and the unconditional love of the person's heart. And you end up missing out on a really good thing. Right. The very thing that God may have had for you, you miss out on because the naysayers, the haters. There's always going to be haters. Mm -hmm. If you were to marry M Morris Chestnut, LL Cool J, oh, she thinks she all that because she got a celebrity. <laughs> if you meet a bum, you clean him up, fix his teeth. Like in that movie, uh, what was it? Vivica Fox had a movie and uh, Bobby Brown was in the movie. Oh, and um, two can play that game. Two can play that game. Mm -hmm. Remember, she got with Bobby Brown and, and she was busted and she yep. cleaned them up. And they had something to say about that. So it doesn't matter what you say, no matter what you do. Miserable people are always going to have something to say. Mm -hmm. oh. But what I have to say is who is the one who's going to say, Well done, my good and faithful servant? That's whose opinion you got to worry about. That's right. whose opinion really matters. Because everybody else changes their mind. But you don't want him to change his mind. So, if you are happy with him, I wish you both all the happiness in the world, all of the favor that the Lord has. May you guys <clears throat> laugh and cry together, tears of joy, and, we do that now. <laughs> and not sorrow. <laughs> If there is sorrow, let you guys console and support each other. Mm -hmm. um, let y'all laugh. The Bible says that laughter is like good medicine. It's good for your soul. Mm -hmm. I love, love, love to see relationships. Yes. Um, I love to see relationships and they're flourishing and they're going out on dates and helping build the kingdom and mm -hmm. being helpful to the community. Because that's what we need right now. We need more couples so that our young people don't want to be like dog or cardi b i never cook and clean but i got the ring heifer i don't know what's wrong with you you need to cook you need to clean yeah what, what do you mean you never cook and clean but you got a ring that's not nothing to be proud of uh -uh. your man should not be living off of no dog on mcdonald's and burger king all the dog on time get your high hearts in that dog uh -uh. kitchen and uh bust some pots how about that? I don't need, your husband don't need to be like Martin. Like, all right, Gina, I know you're a corporate woman, but I'm hungry. <laughs> Tired of these frozen dinners. Give me some good old pork chops smothered in gravy. Right. But the onions and the peppers, homemade gravy. Not a can, homemade from scratch. Mm -hmm. Some good old fried fish and french fries. Hallelujah. Ooh.
That's why I said my grandmother, my grandmother had nine. That's how my grandmother, my daddy decided she had nine, and then she had two miscarriages. I said, so you trying to tell me if you ain't had a miscarriage, it'd be 11 of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, have mercy. Y'all had a lot of babies. They had a lot of time on their hands. They did. But see, back then, you didn't get criticized and beat down for it like no. you do now. You, you don't. But see, the difference is now is too many young people have messed it up for other ones. If there's five to seven women having babies and auntie raising them, uncle raising them, grandma raising them, that's why it's frowned upon. Because it's not good enough just to have the baby. You need to raise your own kids. Mm -hmm. Don't let addiction cause you to be outside of your, your children's life. Don't let some slew foot drug dealer who got you all wrapped up, now nose wide open, you going city to city, state to state, living your worst life, what you think is your best life. Mm -hmm. And your child is suffering, so now grandma got to raise them. Actually be there and make the necessary sacrifices. Right. Endure those sleepless nights. My son is 17. I remember, remember, remember those sleepless nights. I remember trying to break that fever, walking the, the whew, Jesus, walking the living room. He crying, I'm crying, because I don't know what to do, and he don't know what's going on. <laughs> but now that he's taller than me, it's all worth it. I, I wouldn't trade it in for nothing. My 15-year-old, accident prone like his mama, that boy would trip over the air. St. <laughs> Rayfield's going to be my first name. I said, I'm going to get the DCF case. <gasps> then I think something wrong with me. Every time I turn around, I'm in here because of this boy. But he's so clumsy. But mm -hmm. I'm clumsy. But he had an honest. He was always, always in there. I mean, like six months, something happened. Eight months, something happened. Eleven months happened. I'm like, they don't really think I'm a bad mother. But I didn't know so many little boys have injuries. So I was stressing myself out for nothing. Mm -hmm. But... It's a blessing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm.
So, you know, Ryan, I'm not saying nothing. No, I'm fine. I'm getting my hair done with some of the sex washing with my hair. I was on, I was on day one live. He got up there twice. Hmm? I'm fine. You got yours too. And yours as well. Soon I'm done with my hair. He was just on live. He got off. Nobody not getting on that live. That's why. All right. The enemy is so busy. It's just crazy. myself, well, I'm always prepared for anything, but I gotta, um, get the urge up to write my letter.
because I feel like my, my I feel my season is up. Like, there's nothing else I can learn from them. I got all I can get. And it doesn't have to do nothing with no title or no, no license because that's expired. <coughs> and I never renewed it. And it's been, this year I told make three years that my license been expired and I didn't renew it. Do what's best for you. People may not understand and not support it, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was trying to hold on until I told my boyfriend I was trying to hold on to, you know, he put the ring on my finger because I didn't want nobody to feel like he was taking me from the church or anything like that. Which they think that anyway, but I was trying to hold on like that and do like the Bible says. But it's like Mm -hmm. It's like it's now. Behind her eyes on Netflix. Listen, you can only take but so much. for so long because you don't want the Lord to call you home to be with him and your work is not done. Mm -hmm. And what excuse would you give the Lord? Well, I was waiting for, waiting for my leaders to release me. Do you really think that's going to be suffice for him? But they're never not going to release because they feel like they're not ready to step out. But how would you know if you won't let us? Right. And everybody keeps saying, like, I'm a, a, what they call it, a midwife. I draw young people, but how? If I can't go out, I, I you know, talk about God and ways to God when I'm out, like, out work and stuff like that. But the people will not come there. When it comes to... Um When it comes to the evangelist, when it comes to the pasta, those are traveling gifts. You're only supposed to be stationary, stationary for a season to get spiritually poured in to go right back out. You're not supposed to just be sitting there, sitting there, sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. Because it's like having a cup and the cup just keeps getting fuller and fuller and fuller. It's going to overflow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to release something from that cup before you can pour something else back into it. And the word that God gives you is a rhema word. He gives us a daily word. So you got to use what he got and gave to you so he can give you some more. I never understood why people would hold these people hostage spiritually. And have them just sitting and sitting and sitting and sitting and sitting and sitting, 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 sitting. Like you spiritually growing cobwebs. Mm -hmm. Spiritually dying. Spiritually dying. Malnutrition. For what? Just in the four walls. For what purpose? How does that bring glory to the kingdom? Never, ever, ever understood that. People do it all the time, though. My mom's going through that right now. She's been at that church since 1981. She, she is anointed to prophesy. She sees visions. She knows the voice of the Lord. She hears the voice of the Lord. 
Right. And when you say they don't they, use they, any of right. those gifts. Mm -hmm. And when people come with false prophecies and speak in unknown tongues, and she say something. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. Like this one lady was speaking something. She said, that ain't tongues. That's a seance. Like, she's a warning prophet. You have to heed the warning that the Lord has given to her. But how do you expect her to warn the people if you won't release her? Right. And that's what the guy said to me at the church when he came. He was like, um, you want a trumpet? He said, a trumpet is in your mouth. And you see things before it happens. But you don't say nothing because you are doubt yourself. You doubt yourself because the people doubt you. So you don't say nothing. These are the attacks that hits the church. If you don't open up your mouth and say something, it went the way that it went. But because you didn't, the attack hit the church. So he was like, you don't say nothing because you doubt yourself, which I do because of the people that doubt me. And it's crazy. That's why I love that song by um, Donald, <coughs> Donald Lawrence. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to speak victory during the test and no matter then how you feel, speak a word and you will be healed. Speak over yourself, encourage yourself in the Lord. You gotta encourage yourself. Mm -hmm. That's all you got to do. To got to got to encourage yourself. But they thought that David, they thought David was just this quiet little shepherd boy. Mm -hmm. They ain't know David was out there defeating. <laughs> Lion, tigers, and bears as a shepherd boy. He was way more than what the eyes could see. Way more. And so are you. Way more than what the eyes can't see. Some stuff about you. The Lord's not going to reveal to people anyway, though. Because they'll try to sabotage. And or even worse, they'll try to get credit and accolades for what you say and do when it's God who gave it to you. Mm -hmm. They'll say that the anointing that you have is because of them. And God wants all the glory. so pretty. How do you think you're going to like it?
Hold your head down just a little bit. Yes.
Yes, yes, you are. Almost done with the last two. Sure was one, right? No, it's not like Get Out, no. It's totally different. But the ending will remind you of Get Out. Um, because I'm going to do a spoiler. Remember how Get Out, the people will go to a different person's body? Yeah. That's how it is at this movie. That's the only spoiler I'm giving you. It's real, 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 real good. I like these because they're lightweight, they're not heavy. Uh -uh. So it's not going to feel like you got it. A whole bunch in your hair, but you do. like comment and subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you will be notified the next time i upload another video until next time